Favreau wrote, directed, and stars as a chef who quits his high-end position at a restaurant to rediscover his passion on a food truck. Sofia Vergara, Oliver Platt, and John Lugazamo co-star in Chef. From the Tribeca Film Festival in New York, it's Red Carpet Diary. We're being reviewed by the most important critic in the city. Now suddenly you're going to be an artist. Well, be an artist on your own time. It's my restaurant. The kitchen is my domain. That was our deal. The deal has now changed. Either you stay or you go. Do you threaten to fire me now? No, I'm telling you what I'm prepared to do if you don't cook my menu. It's up. It's up. Go. The review's out. His dramatic weight gain can only be explained by the fact that he must be eating all the food sent back to the kitchen. John, I loved your character in this because unlike uh, John uh, Favreau's character, who's really unsure and doesn't even know how to find his happiness, your character's like, let's do this. Sometimes uh, being simple-minded <laughs> brings a lot more happiness than being all complex and and over-intellectualizing over life, you know? I, 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 there, there was a beauty to Martin that I, that I really loved. I loved sort of the straightforwardness. He was a very yeah. straightforward guy who knew what he had to do. At all, at all times, he was all doing the right thing. Just do the right thing and you'll be fine. Well, I know that John really wanted this to be authentic. Uh, and is it true that for research, you spent some time in a New York kitchen? I was at the Lion on 9th Street for about a month. What was that like? Yeah, I ate a lot. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and it was good food. I mean, I, I was trying not to hurt anybody or myself. Uh, basically, that, that was the point. Yeah. There was a lot of hot burning objects a lot of sharp, sharp knives that are like not forgiving. Did you pick up any skills during the film? Because in it, it really looks like, I mean, you guys are doing it. You're cooking, you're chopping. You're I was doing... able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> they were smart enough to give me tasks that I could accomplish effectively <laughs> on screen, which was, yeah. you know, heat up the, the pernil and the ham and, 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 and do the bread and toast the bread. And I just keep, keep that going. And I was trying to do the chopping thing, forget that. Yeah, no. I was going to lose a digit. That was not, I was like, you know what, forget it. You don't have to get a double. Mm -hmm. Get a stunt guy yeah. to come and chop the celery. I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, this film also brings together, you know, food is really popular right now, which sounds like a weird thing to say, but it is. It's street food. It's bizarre. Food is and, like everything all of a sudden. It's yeah. like every network, every TV show, the chew, yeah. food trucks <laughs> all over America. All people do is talk and eat mm -hmm. and about tweet. food. Tweet about yeah. food, take pictures of food. Mm -hmm. It's a weird time in America, <laughs> man. I mean, food is the most important thing in our minds. Great to meet you, <laughs> nice John. To meet you.